Hi, today is the 14th of August, Eve of Independence Day. We have traveled through 70 years and we are going to start the 71st year tomorrow. So we must inculcate independent thinking. And how are we going to inculcate independent thinking in challenges like preterm labor? What is preterm labor? Preterm labor is when the term is not complete. What is term? Term is 37 weeks or nine completed months with seven days added to it. Anything before that is called preterm. This occurs when there is a disparity between power, passage and passenger. What is power? Power is uterine contraction. When the uterine contractions are poor and precipitate premature rupture of membrane due to the passenger being heavy or due to obesity that gives rise to preterm labor. So obesity is one of the main causes. Along with this, if you have medical complications like pancreatitis or malfunctioning of the liver or fatty liver with premature rupture of membrane, commitment is done and this starts the preterm labor. When the passenger is heavy or macrosomic or there are two in number, twins, then also there is preterm labor. Passenger we dealt with, we dealt with power and now we come to the content, the uterine bag, power, passage and passenger. Passage, passage, the uterine canal may be deformed as in arcuate uterus or uniconvate uterus or there is a fibroid associated with the uterus overlying the uterus like a cap then there would be hastening of labor there would be premature commitment even though the uterine canal is not well formed the birth canal is not adopted or adapted yet the passenger is in a hurry to come so what is the role of a doctor doctor has to be supported by the patient and patient party so there has to be a synergy between the doctor and the patient and the patient party where we should understand with the help of a cardiotocograph which plots the uterine contraction the power the number of contraction and the fetal acceleration associated with the pain if there is variable acceleration and deceleration the baby is doing fine and we have more than 12 hours then we would like to administer decadron injection thereby maturing the lungs so that the baby is not come not distressed when the baby is visible to the world we must cooperate independent thinking is when you agree with your doctor and you facilitate the doctor well the, it, uh, the labor has hastened and doctor please put the patient in scubu your choice of nursing home has to be good it has to be a well equipped nursing home where you can swiftly shift the baby to the scubu and warm the baby maintain the humidity and probably have facilities to uh, do the investigation access to chest x-ray to see whether the lungs are collapsed or not and also to provide the baby with surfactant drops so that that lung doesn't create mischief so preterm labor by and large needs active thinking and planning along with medical complication if the mother has if she's obese if she's diabetic if she is uh, having pancreatitis or she's had fibroid along with pregnancy these preparations and measures should be taken time to time regular checkup with monitor along with cardiotocography help we must come to a definite conclusion and assistance to help the mother and child so i would advise rather than uh, talking you know searching on the internet if the interaction between the parents the party and the mother in question is well well done 
we could really sail through smoothly without any calamities. But sometimes, sometimes, you know, uh, when uh, the delivery is say around 28 weeks, it's a real challenge for the pediatrician, for the parents. Though the gyno has, uh, you know, sort of moved out of the picture, but the struggle be begins by putting the child on CPAP, on ventilator, with a lot of antibiotics. How can I facilitate you when this kind of a calamity is going to happen? That is only by doing periodic ultrasounds, by measuring the cervical length canal and by predicting if the lady has urinary tract infection, repeated urinary tract infection, she should be covered with broad spectrum antibiotic. She could be put on cranberry juice to facilitate uh, urination, any obstruction should be handled carefully. Now if she is having repeated wide discharge which predisposes to infection and this ascending infection will cause chorioamnionitis and will predispose to a PROM that is premature rupture of membrane. So a lady with foul smelling wide discharge yellow in color or green does have infection and she should report to the to her doctor and tell and take valuable timely assistance and treatment along with this please keep in mind that you must learn to respect your liver and kidney and you must do a lot of deep breathing exercise when you do deep breathing exercise, you make sure that circulation is on. But when you are lazy and you think pregnancy is a disease, then you just lose on your courage. Please don't lose. Please work till the end. Please do not fret about information given on the net. Your doctors are modern. They encourage and support you on the WhatsApp. They are very accessible. There is nothing to fear. The institutes are well equipped. We have all the measures. It's just cooperation and timely intervention. So please kindly be alert, be happy. It's only with positivity that we can avoid complication in preterm labor. We will get few hours before the baby is out. That is the golden hour. As they say, one hour before severe heart attack is the golden time where intervention can be given. Similarly, when you have a rupture of membrane, the lyca is trickling, please come to us. We'll top you up with antibiotics. We'll facilitate every stress every fear you face with a lot of confidence reassurance and competency because our motto is consciousness awareness and realization and that is developed with visual audio and motor reflexes and i assure you all the doctors are wham doctors they have super visual assets audio and motor reflexes.